Good morning again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jason from Earth Motor Cars. We are coming in live from the Fueled Up Meet here at the Nebraska Furniture Mart parking lot, hosted by Park Up Front. Today, of course, we do have our booth, brought you guys an M4 competition package, as well as a Maserati Gran Turismo. Again, anytime you see this Earth Motor Cars booth, come by, say hi. We always have some cool cars to show you. Right behind me, of course, we have the Mustang guys set up. It is beautiful, good showing today. Lots of folks out with their cars, lots of great people. So at these events, they do a pretty good job at bringing a nice mix of vehicles. Uh, it is a JDM special weekend. For those of you that don't know what that means, Japanese cars. We're gonna work our way over to that side of the crowd as well, but first we have a pit stop here through the supercar row. You might recognize some of these cars from some previous uh, videos we've done. Over here we have Gachos, McLaren. Just had some exhaust work done to this thing. It is loud, sounding good. And I think I see the owner here with his cigar. There he is, I know this guy. Hey. How are we doing today, Gacho? Great. So this guy has uh, this McLaren sitting behind us. I think you've seen him in a previous episode that we did on our YouTube channel. Tell you what, I can't get enough of this McLaren. I can't get enough of this guy. Since the last time we saw him, I look looks like you've had some upgrades. I did. I did the uh, engine cover, the carbon fiber. Uh, you want to take a look at that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. show us. Car coming through, guys. Watch out. Got that in uh, carbon fiber, the uh, engine cover. So, heck yeah. Yeah. Matching the spoiler on the back. I think you did the hood since last time I saw you as well, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, enjoying the car. <laughs> hey, good to see you again, man. Too. Love it. So we do have some late arrivals still coming through today. Now this is one of the earlier shows that we come to throughout the year because Nebraska Furniture Mart does have to open up and sell some furniture. Uh, so we'll be out of here in the next hour and a half or so. But coming down the line, good showing for the McLarens, Lamborghini. Looks like we have a DB11. There's a Ferrari over there. Oh yeah? Good showing for Ferrari as well. See a couple of Lotus. Don't see enough of these things around. I absolutely love these Lotus cars. I wish we saw more of them. You might recognize this one here, Gen X Kid. He was on a previous video with us as well. Owner of this car owns Rap Creations. Super nice guy, does fantastic work. And uh, I think loud raps is, a, is an understatement for sure. So earlier, heading on the way in, I saw a gentleman with a vehicle that I have never seen anything like it before. I'm standing next to it right now. Uh, I think I see the owner as well. And this has to be probably one of the most rare vehicles at the show. And you know what, I think I see him right here. There he is. Hey guys, I found the owner of this car and this has to be one of the most unique vehicles at the show. Definitely the most rare. I've never seen one before today, uh, but but this thing is really crazy. You mind showing us a little bit? Yeah, whatever you want to look at. Yeah. Heck yeah, walk us around this thing. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, it's, microphone? A, it's a uh, race car replica that builds this car up in Detroit. And it comes as a, a kind of a symbol vehicle is what it is. So it comes as a roller and then you finish it. You put the engine in it and the uh, transmission and stuff. Then you do all the electrics and all the cooling system and all the other stuff that goes inside. And then you can kind of finish out whatever you, way you want to do it. Uh, it, it like I said, it's got an LS3 engine in it, crate motor, 480 horse. It's got a manual transmission from a Ricardo. Is the manufacturer of the transmission that they go in the four GTs that they built in 2005 and six. So they're kind of a rarity, the transmissions. So right now they sell the uh, Graziano transmissions out of Audi so for them now. And they just uh, have an adapter plate to put whatever engine you want in it. 
So you can put just about anything in it you want, really. So it weighs about 2,800 pounds, 480 horsepower. I'm sorry, you said it weighs what now? 2,800 pounds. With over 400 horsepower, that is insane. Yeah, 480, <laughs> yeah. So it's, uh, and again, you have to put it together yourself. A lot of stuff is custom built. All of the suspension parts are not, uh, like a lot of cars you buy like this or uh, use components from other cars. This one doesn't really do that. It has its own suspension parts. They're all CNC milled aluminum parts. The chassis is all aluminum chassis. So it's not high dollar carbon fiber, but it's, it's aluminum and it's pretty lightweight. Body's all fiberglass and it's its own design aerodynamically from the race car replicas. Again, they build other kits also. Uh, they kind of call them component cars instead of kit cars. It's not really a kit. <laughs> So, but uh, I don't know what you want to see on it though. You've yeah, kind of been around it. Real quick. I want to see the inside of this thing as well. Yeah, there's not much to it. I bought different seats. They had fiberglass that came with it before, but I bought uh, carbon fiber seats. They're Tillets, very uh, well-known race seat. So it's kind of lightweight seats and they just mount to the floor. They're adjustable a little bit, but not a lot. And then uh, I carpeted it and uh, Put a panel in there that comes comes with the car all that interior panel stuff these close out panels and they look like carbon fiber they're just uh, vinyl yeah. and the windows are plastic they they don't roll up and down and so when you show it shut it it's shut <laughs> <laughs> and then, let's take a look at the front of this thing as well yeah up front we've got uh, basically the tires and wheels are all off of uh, a z06 corvette so it uh it's basically the same size, it has 19s in the back, uh, 12 inch wide rims, and in the front they're uh, 18 inch and nine and a half. So they run the same tire sizes as a Corvette Z06. Radiator up front, braking fluids and stuff like that up front. He even has a windshield wiper, make it legal for the street. <laughs> That's cool. Looks like it's rounded as well. The whole yeah, the, the, the winch, the like windshield, the windshield is is uh, definitely uh, an expensive item if you break it. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't imagine that's a that's, some, that's, that's something. That's something. That's something you don't install yourself. You get the window people to come put that in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this thing's awesome, man. So yeah, this thing's really great. It's a fun little car. Pretty quick. Uh, there's another guy in town. There's like five of these in North Texas. That's all there is. We know everybody knows each other. It has these things. And we kind of get together and go to car shows occasionally, but uh, there's another fella up in Argyle. He's got a yellow one, but they have a different tail on it than mine. I've got a street tail and they have a, a race version that has a wing and stuff on the back. So it looks a little different, but the body style is the same. Just the back end looks a little different with a wing on the back. Awesome. What was your name again? Bruce Levex, my name. Bruce. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much. We'll do a little fist bump here. Back, man. And uh, I look forward to seeing you at some more shows. I think it's cool. I'll be around this South Lake a couple more weeks. <laughs> awesome. We'll see you out there. You bet. All right. Thanks. Look at that. We see Gen X kid over here. <laughs> Couple different vendors out. Look at this. This look at this artwork we have here. There's something that's a personality about him or her that just like you know, you can't get away from. Them. That's cool. Lots of really cool different vendors that come out to these things. Uh, see the artist behind us. There's actually a, uh, a coffee maker just down the road here as well. We're going to stop by and see. They gave me a cup of coffee earlier, so I want to see uh, swing by and say hi to him. So with this being a JDM special weekend, of course, the bulk of the show are the Japanese cars. So we're working our way into that side right now. Oh, and here we are. Let's take a look. Got a nice row of Nissan showing up today. Look at the size of the turbo on that one, huh? Oh, 
got a doggy in here. Hi, doggy. <laughs> Looks like we found the Subaru boys. Is that what you call hashtag stance? I don't know. I think I might be a little bit too old. Sickest ride of the show, ladies and gentlemen. This is obviously drawn its inspiration from Lotus back in the day, which is add lightness. And this has to be the lightest vehicle at the show today. <laughs> it got its own parking spot too. Loads of Supra showing out today as well. My goodness. Mark threes and Mark fours. Ooh, check out the dress up kit on this one here. That's a good looking engine bay. Certainly a great mix of types of vehicles. We got Supras parked next to Aston Martins, parked next to Vipers, parked next to old classic Camaros and Corvettes. I'll tell you what, regardless of what kind of cars you're into, there's something for everybody here. Cool, another Lotus. So we're gonna make a pit stop over here with these guys handing out coffee. I had a cup of their coffee earlier. They had a, some, some notes of pecan, it was delicious. Now these guys are local, they're out of Rowlett and the coffee is set up for gearheads. As a matter of fact, I, uh, I've got a gentleman here that wants to tell us a little bit more about it. Hey guys, this is Jeff at Gearhead Coffee. Uh, so we're an automotive based or automotive themed, uh, automotive, automotive and motorsports themed coffee company. Our background uh, grew up around cars. We off-road race, like we run the Baja 1000, best in the desert series out of Las Vegas and got into, uh, you know, looking for healthy alternatives, if you will. We're not saying it's a health drink, but uh, you definitely never hear a doctor say you can't, you shouldn't drink 20 of these in a day. You definitely can. It's what we, uh, we pride ourselves, I'll tell you this though, everybody thinks it's just a marketing ploy, but uh, the big thing that we really focus on is the quality of the coffee. So everything that we've got here, for example, today was fresh roasted and, and ground yesterday. So people say, man, we originally, I initially bought the coffee because I love the marketing, but uh, I continue to buy it because of the taste. So you can see we go all the way from a, a light roast with our injected 427 strokers, our medium. We've got our big block is our dark roast. Gear oil, uh, that's our super dark. Uh, we get into a, uh, a beadlock is our Texas pecan. This is our number one seller is this beadlock Texas pecan. That's what I had earlier today, right? Yeah, oh, man, it's awesome, delicious. right? I, I drink it, you drink it black. I mean, yeah. it's, it's roasted with a little natural pecan oil, so it's awesome. That's, that's the stuff right yeah. there. And we've got our, uh, our Colombian Bam Bam here, you know, so that's 100% <laughs> pure Colombian. And then we've got our Grand Prix Espresso. Uh, all of our products available in a uh, in whole bean, ground, or we've trademarked this as piston cups, but K cups. So that's all available. And then we do offer hot cocoa as well. Our two stroke, our two strokes available in a Mexican and an American hot cocoa. So, but man, we're excited to be out here at the fueled up event, working with uh, Park Up Front, and uh, excited about uh, getting out here with the community and uh, and seeing everybody out here. Tell the folks where they can find your coffee. Yeah, so find our coffee at uh, gearheadcoffee.com. You can also find us on Facebook and, uh, and Instagram as well. But www.gearheadcoffee.com.
Outstanding. All right, appreciate you. Hey, thank you so much, brother. I'll tell you what, I love coffee. I drink at least three cups before I get out of the house uh, for other safety, not only my own. And this, this Texas pecan that we had right here, this bag, I'm gonna have to come back and grab a couple, a couple of those bags before I'm out of here today. All right, I'll see you guys. Hey, what's up, Ideen? What's up? Hey, Ideen woke up and joined us this morning. I promise he was on time. Good For morning, anybody at Earth Motor Cars that's watching, Ideen was 100% on time this morning. I was actually early, in fact, thank you. He was early. He set up the booth by himself. All right, my dipsies. I have a customer. I have a customer. Yeah, cool, man. So now I'm looking for the owner of this uh, C10 we have right here. They actually do uh, some car shows as well and do it for a very good cause where they, they raise funds to help kids with special needs. Now, if I can see him come by, I wanna have him talk about it a little bit more, but in the meantime, let's take a look at his C10. The engine bay on this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And actually, I think I see him walking up right now. Tell you what, you know more about this truck than I do. Uh, I'd, I'd like for you to walk us around this vehicle and then not only that, you, you're, you're, you're doing stuff for a really good cause. Yeah. And I, I want to hear about that. I want the viewers to see that and uh, see what they can do to be a part of it. Sure. Appreciate that. So my name's Ty Gentleman. Uh, this is a 1970 uh, C10 that's uh, been in build uh, about three and a half years. Uh, built by uh, Mark's Customs in Fort Worth and then Donnie Bright did the paint for me. Uh, good friends of mine. But uh, it's, uh, like I said, 1970, we put a 72 grill on it. It's LS2, 480 transmission. Uh, it's got CPP uh, system on it for suspension, bare brakes, 12 bolt rear end. Um, yeah, just a pretty, pretty nice truck. Uh, we put some big old meats on the back of it, drives and rides nice, custom interior. Uh, the wood bed is actually kind of unique because you don't see the red bed very often, but it's just a fun truck. We wanted a good, reliable, you know, nice clean truck. And so that's what we were trying to shoot for. But what's interesting about the cars and stuff that we use, uh, we run a foundation called Connor's Foundation. And that foundation is about raising awareness for special needs kids, especially with Down syndrome and autism. And so we put on a show every year called Connor's Car Show. This year it's scheduled for April 24th at Keller Town Hall. You can find us at uh, connorscarshow.com or at the uh, Facebook page, Connor's Car Show. But basically it's, a, it's just a car show to, again, to raise awareness about Down syndrome, show what these kids can do, introduce the kids, get the families some help, uh, support the charities that support these kids. And so the whole idea is, again, to raise awareness and raise some money for the kids. And so every year we raise you know, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000. We get to donate it all after the show. So it's a pretty cool cause. It's lots of work. But one thing that's interesting is that all the trophies are custom made out of aircraft parts and car parts. So everything's custom made. We make 164 trophies. It's a real big draw for the show. Uh, we usually average between five to 600 cars. Uh, I think our biggest number is a little over 600. But it's, it's just a good cause. and We have lots of fun. So Connor's my son. He's 12 years old. He's the boss and makes us do all the work. So uh, he's got a 65 GT Mustang that I get to drive, so I'm the, I'm the chauffeur and driver for him. But that's his car. And that'll be on display at the show as well. But again, just have a lot of fun. Love to have everybody come out. You know, it's uh, like I said, we get a little bit of everything. We get exotics, a lot of muscle cars, a lot of newer cars. Uh, it's just a fun event. There's lots of public to come out. We get about 10,000 people to come out to the show. So uh, yeah, April 24th, look us up. We'd love to have you out there and see where we go from there. Absolutely. Thanks, hey, thank, thank you so much for not only showing us the truck. I, I really appreciate what you're doing with the organization and, and the you. outreach that you're doing and the awareness that you're bringing and the, and the good work that you're doing. So uh, anything we can do to help bolster each other up, I want to make sure I can do that for you guys. And uh, what was the date again for that car show? It's April 24th. We've got a backup date of June 12th if we're not allowed to have it. But uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Look, it's a lot of work by a lot of people. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of the face of it. My son's yeah. really the face of it, but it takes, a, it takes a team of people to do it. But we appreciate anybody that can come out and help and support from guys like you, companies like yourself. It's, you know, it's all about helping each other. And the car community is a great community. So there's lots Absolutely. of, lots of big hearted people, you know, yeah. and that's what it's about. So we help each other. Good, love it, love all it. Right. Hey, thanks again for being on the show with us today. And uh, just just like you said, the car community, there's no, there's nothing else like it. <laughs> it's a great community, right? There's a lot of, yeah. yeah. Look at today, right? Lots there's of really lots cool guys. Of oh yeah. So it's fantastic. So, cool. Well, yeah, I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Well, all right, guys, on that note, my battery's running dry. The show is about to start breaking down. Thanks again for tuning in. We will be live again next weekend. We have another show for you guys. Be sure to follow us on our Facebook, Instagram, all that. We'll be posting out whenever we come out to these events. And uh, come by and see us. Until then, you guys stay cool.